This is Speak My Word Ministries Daily Pulse and Travis Zimmerman with an encouragement to live pure. And let me just jump right into the scriptures here. This is Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 to 8, and encouraging us to live pure. And here is what Paul shares about it. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, in other words, made holy, that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the heathen who do not know God, and that in this matter no one should wrong his brother or take advantage of him. The Lord will punish men for all such sins, as we have already told you and warned you. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life, Therefore, he who rejects this instruction does not reject man, but God, who gives you his Holy Spirit. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 to 8. Live pure. You know, and that, that, that whole issue of sexual immorality, you know, it, it, it comes down to that, doesn't it? Do not, you know, learn to control your body, not in passionate lust like a heathen. And that's hard, isn't it? You know, we give our lives to Jesus Christ, but yet we have this flesh. And the flesh betrays it, just as it betrayed the, you know, the three disciples falling asleep, you know, at least three falling asleep there, waiting for Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. You know, the, the mind is willing, but the body, the flesh is weak. And that's what happens. We get, you know, and it's certainly living in America, probably this, you know, the, the sensual, the sex capital of the world. There's so much going on, isn't there? There's so much to, to distract us, you know, whether it's... Sunday paper, or it's or it's a television, or if it's if it's you know shopping in the grocery store and being bored. I mean, there's so many different places we can fall into sexual morality, isn't it? But tell you one of the things I do, one of the tactics, it's not Suzanne. It's not Suzanne. You know, you always think, well, you know, I'm not going to look at that, and you, you get tempted. And that's when we've got to hold on to Jesus Christ with all we've got, because you know it, it, it's in those moments when we can just really show our love for Him, and in turn show our love for our bride. And, and understand that, it, that we are not to live a life of a life of the heathen where we're, we're lusting because with lust it's never enough. It's just like the, the analogy I always say with my kids, how many webkins, how many of these stuffed toys do you need? Eight? Well maybe nine daddy. Well ten, uh, tw 13, I'll be happy with 13. And so it is with lust and sexual lust we're never satisfied. But the person, the entity, the God, the Savior that satisfies us in all situations is Jesus. And that's why I encourage you to take Paul's words to heart. Do not live in sexual immorality. Grab on to Jesus with all you've got in your name, Father. Amen.